Hey guys, let's understand this problem. This problem says the following bar graph shows the results of an annual examination in a secondary school. Read the bar graph and choose the correct alternative in each of the following. So regarding the bar graph, these are the questions asked. So let's analyze the bar graph and then we are going to answer these questions one by one. Our bar graph represents results of an annual examination in a secondary school. In this bar graph, x-axis represents you class, class in which boys and girls, passing of boys and girls are there. And y-axis represents percentage of students passed in corresponding class. In class 6, 80% boys got passed and 70% girls got passed. In 7th class, 40% boys passed and 100% girls are passed. In 8th class, 90% boys passed and 50% girls passed. In 9th class, it is 70 and 80 and in 10th class, it is 70 and 90. Now you do understand what this bar graph is about. This bar graph is about number of boys and girls passed in corresponding classes. Now, from this bar graph, we are going to answer these problems. The pair of classes in which the results of boys and girls are inversely proportional. Now, you must be wondering what does it mean by inversely proportional. Let's see. The class in which the result of boys and girls are inversely proportional are percentage of boys in class 6th. When you will... When you analyze the bar graph, you will see that percentage of boys in class 6 was 80% and percentage of girls passed in class 6 was 70%. Percentage of boys in class 9th was 70% and percentage of girls in class 9th was 80%. So you can see here, percentage of boys, of boys in class 6 became the percentage of girls in class 9th. So that's what does it mean by inversely proportional. Percentage of girls in class 6 became the percentage of boys in class 9th. Now, we are going to answer the second problem. Our second problem says the class having the lowest failure of girls. Class having the lowest failure of girls. So, let's see the bar graph. In this bar graph, you can see here 100% girls are passed. When 100% girls are passed, which means all of them are passed, then none of them got failed. So, this class is the only class where girls passing are maximum and girls failure rate is minimum. So our answer to this problem will be class 7th. Now the class having the lowest pass rate of students. Let's again go back to the bar graph. Lowest pass rate which is 40%. So here this rate is lowest. When you'll see all the levels, you'll see that 40 is the lowest one and that belongs to 7th class. So answer to this problem will be 7th class as well. I really hope there should be no doubt. I'll be taking more problems in the coming video lectures. Thank you.